All right guys, so in this video today, I'm gonna share with you the end-to-end -end process of using MetaMask and Uniswap to buy various coins and tokens. And the reason why I wanna do this now is because if you haven't caught my latest video, which was an interview with a DeFi expert, he shared with us several undervalued DeFi gems and I want to buy some of those. And so I also figured why not just show the entire process because it could be daunting to some newbies and beginners out there. So be sure to follow along. Let me know if you have any questions by commenting down below. And also if you find it valuable at all, just smash that like button and I'll know to make more of these for you in the future. Let's go. So we're starting off here at metamask.io and be very careful about sites that are fake ones but look like this to try to get you to download malicious extensions, right? Because then you can lose all your coins there. But I click on download and then there's Chrome, iOS, and Android. These are the supported browsers here. I'm using Chrome, so go to the Chrome store, click add to Chrome, and then accept. And then it's downloaded. You just have to open your extensions and I'm gonna pin it so I can have it right here. And it brings you to this screen, get started. If you already have a seed phrase, you can import it, but let's assume you don't, okay? So let's create a new wallet. And it says help improve, I'm just gonna say no thanks to this. A new password, make sure to have one that's unique and write it down and be sure to remember it so you don't lose this in the future, okay? Though you can still access it with your seed phrase, but you want to carefully keep track of your password too and not one that can be easily hacked by someone who hacks your email, for example. Okay, I've read and create. And then you have a secret backup phrase. Never disclose your backup phrase. Anyone with this phrase can take your ether forever, right? So even with the password, or rather even without the password, if they have these secret words, then they can hack and steal your coins, right? So I'm gonna click remind me later, but you can click here to reveal. You can see your secret phrase and write it down, remember it in different places. That is, and they give some great tips here you can follow too. Okay, they have token swapping, but now we have an account and we have to fund it with Ether first, right? I'm gonna fund it with ETH and then use that to trade for other tokens on Uniswap in a bit. But essentially, you click buy and then you can buy with debit card right here, but I'm going to directly deposit Ether. So click here to view your account and then you have your QR code, be on Etherscan, and you don't need to do that. Just copy paste this and go on Coinbase and send ETH from other wallets that you have ETH already to this wallet. And then it's gonna show up over here. Just a few other notes, you can also send here, add recipient, I'm not gonna do that now, and also swap, but this doesn't have the tokens I want, so I'm gonna be using Uniswap. So give me a second, I'm gonna do what I just said and send some ETH here. It's gonna take a little bit of time. All right, so I've sent over some ether and received it, as you can tell, it only took a few minutes. Gas was pretty expensive, about 10 bucks, but depending on when you're watching this, that may differ quite a bit. But now let's go to Uniswap, and this is their main informational website, but if you click on use Uniswap, it brings you to app.uniswap.org. It's also very important to make sure you're using the right one. Okay, so before you can buy a token, right, let's connect our wallet. I'm gonna choose MetaMask here. And if you have different accounts, then you can choose which one. Click next, click connect. Okay, it's connected. And you can see your balance up top and some other information. Now to choose a token we wanna trade our ETH for. And I already added this, but you can type in different ones and import it, for example, trade at your own risk, especially if it's one that's rather new, then you have to do this and trade for Badger. But I'm gonna choose index though. And you can click max here and look at some various metrics. Another interesting part is if you click on pair analytics, it brings you to this page, which shows you the total liquidity, volume, fees, and the price charts. And that's important because if this has a price chart that looks different than the one that you're trying to buy, then it might be a scam one or just a misunderstanding from your part. So that's really helpful to look at that before you buy. And I clicked max, remember? Now click swap. You click confirm swap, waiting for confirmation. 
and it's going to say insufficient funds, right? Because gas is really expensive right now and you don't want to really touch this or else your transaction is going to fail and you're going to waste the gas that you spent and not get it back, right? So you have to reject this and dismiss, go back and change this to even less, for example, and then click swap again. So I actually successfully did it before, but I had to reshoot this video. So I can't show you the exact steps, but it's pretty simple. Once you change it again and you do have enough for the amount you want to spend in ETH plus the gas fee that MetaMask does for you, let's say it had enough, then it wouldn't have this alert and you can just click confirm. And then back here, it's going to show transaction confirmed with a view transaction button link that you can press that's going to bring you to etherscan and it's going to show you this transaction it was already successfully confirmed but before it's confirmed it's going to have a progress signal showing you the rough estimated time for me it was about one to two minutes because they paid a lot of gas for it and the gas price transaction fee was 35.88 that's quite a bit right and it could go up to 40 or even more depending on the congestion so that's that and now if you go back to your account page on etherscan drop down token you see index so the next step to do is i clicked into index and here is their contract address on the top right hand side i click copy go to metamask drop down and i already see it here because i added it but it's not going to show up here you're going to be like how can i see my tokens in metamask you click add token here you can search it so let's say i search index but this is a new one, so you don't see it out of any of the options here. If you see it out of the options here, just click it and click next. But in our case, we're gonna do custom token. It says token has already been added because I added it, but it's gonna auto fill token symbol to index, decimal precisions. Most of the time you don't have to touch this. And then you click next and then it's done. It shows up right here. And then you can send it from within MetaMask 2. But that's all folks, let me know if this was helpful at all. If you like these tutorial videos, please smash that like button so I know to make more of these for you in the future. But anyways, I'm Kevin, let me know if you have any questions, I'll try my best to help you out. I'm from Bitcoin for Beginners, we're all about deep research and honest opinions. Please subscribe to watch more, hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys next time.